Hey everyone, I'm back, and this time I'm playing Overlord on the NES. Oh man, I haven't touched this game in so long. Is this the button? There we go. Alright, so there's a way to switch. No! Oh, I pressed the wrong one. I'm gonna have to reset it. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Alright, so today we're playing Overlord. Let's see. So, if is it this button? I think it's start. I think I have to wait for this to cycle. There we go. So, select enemy. There we are. Yeah, we'll play this one with 32 stars. 32 stars. Okay. I see. Okay. First things first, guys. We need to buy our. I can't do anything until these credits stop rolling. But yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is there we go. Now I can I can change stuff. Oh, I need to buy a terraformer from here. Here we go. Buy this twenty-seven thousand. I should get like a discount or something. So now I head back, go to this planet, terraform it. Mwahahaha. Soon this planet will be mine. Mine six days. That shouldn't take long. Uh, what else do I need to buy? So, going to my taxes. No, taxes are here. Uh, food, population. So, food's going down because I need to buy farming stations. Farming station A. How much money do I have? Great question. 43,000. Oh, I got my planet. It's a volcano planet. Oh, I got an alert from the computer. These stars are mine, Commander. Deactivate your terraform matter immediately or else. Well, that's not going to happen, so the or else is going to have to happen. Buy the ship. Are you sure? Yes. Buy a second one. Mwahaha, I'm crazy. What? I don't have enough credits. No. Alright, planet two. I'm gonna jack up the taxes. I was gonna say price, but it's just the taxes. Um how much money does main base have? Okay, so I now have enough to buy a second farming station. Great! So now I go to the docking bay. Prepare each one. Nice. Second. Prepared for launch. Now I go and select them. Um, put them on the surface of planet one. Boom. So they're both there. Okay, they're both blinking on the surface. Planet two has nothing. That's fine. Uh, planet two is just a volcano planet. How long until planet three is done? 16 days. All right. Now let's go check the stats of Planet 1. So I have 1300 credits, a little over. Food's going up, population growth is increasing. It's at 6%, but I'm going to drop it down to a 0% tax rate. I want the population to reach near maximum. So the cap on a lot of the resources and people is 32,767, which is the highest value an integer can hold, I think, or a, a short integer in programming. So that's going to be the, the max uh, food, people, energy, or fuel on a planet. So once the people get to like 30,000, somewhere near there, I will increase the tax rate so that I get more money. But I don't have any way really of feeding these guys, so I'm gonna tax the crap out of them. Yeah, and from every now and then just bring the money back home by pressing that button. Uh, credits from all your plants have been moved to your starbase. Alright, so planet 3, format report, ready in two days. So in like a few seconds 
we'll see what planet 3 is all about. It's a desert planet. Perfect for getting electricity. Uh, do, 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 do. On its way, give me how many days for planet 4. Wow, so 24 days for planet 4 to be formatted. Interesting. Let's see what else I'm going to buy. Oh, I'm going to have to buy one of these, or maybe two. Yeah. You know what? Eventually I'm going to be out of electricity on Starbase. So... I'm going to buy this. Auto orbit around Starbase. Nice! Now I got two of these in orbit around my Starbase. There they are! Two satellites! Way faster than Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> so now, let's see. How much money do I have? That's Planet 4. Hit this button. So all the credits came to Starbase. I have just under 3,000 credits. So my plan for now is to get some get some monies and build up enough money to buy where is it? It's the farming station. So fuel. I'm only gonna need one of these stations, I believe. I really like how it looks, like everything in this game. It's an NES game, but it looks awesome. Like the animators, the programmers, they all did a great job with what they were using back in the day. It's awesome. I don't even know how I would, how I would program or animate the electricity flying through like that. I guess just frame by frame. Um. So cargo ships move supplies from one planet to another. I could use that. This one's way better. It holds more. I could use a ship like this and take supplies like fuel and electricity from uh, planets of mine in the distance and bring it to Starbase because pretty soon my stuff's going to get attacked. Oh. Perfect. So we're going to find out what this new planet's all about. Any second now. Oh, okay, so it's like a, a metropolis type planet. So we're going to format the next one. And 49 days for that one. Let's go up here. Uh, let's jack this up. Whoops. Oh, I didn't jack this one up. Alright, this is to get max money early on. That one's formatting. Alright, so we have under 6,000 credits. So people are increasing just over 11,000. When it gets near to like, yeah, maybe less than 30,000, like high 20,000s. Yeah. Yeah just under 30,000. I'll start bringing up the tax rate and I have to keep an eye on it. So if I uh, let the population grow to 30,000, so population level is critical on planet 2. More update, large numbers are converging. Looks like war. They're probably going to attack planet 2. It's usually the pattern of the computer. I get the planet right next to you. Oh, they're going for planet 4. Alright, so I brought all the money to my base. Oh, planet 4 is the city planet. So they went right for the last planet that I formatted. It's an all-around planet. It's not really like um, proficient in generating certain things. It's... It, I'm gonna lose this. It's... There, he's, yeah, he's, there's no defenses on the planet, so the computer took it. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, how long until this one's done? 32 days. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, what I need to do is basically format my way up to, I guess, planet 16, and then by then, the, e the enemy has created yet another planet. So they took planet 31 
the enemy's main base is planet 32. If you take over planet 32, you win the game. Um, sometimes, you know, if I feel like it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll systematically take out the enemy's planets, leaving them just with their home planet, and then take over all the planets and put defenses on all of them and build them up and and like micromanage each one it's, it's but I won't do that uh, we're just going for the quickest playthrough I can do you know not like a speed run or anything of this all right let's move these credits over so just under 20,000 uh, that's not the screen I wanted to check so 27,000 for the cargo cruiser or I can get the 30,000 right away for the battle cruiser and I think that's what I'll do. I'll save up and get that battle cruiser. Uh, population level is critical on planet 2. Yep, so looking at planet 2, if I now lower the tax rate to 0, uh, population will grow the population rate. It'll, it's right now it's at negative 15%, so there's no population growth. Now it's at positive 8% because the the way of life isn't as you know uh, expensive. You can afford to have kids. That's pretty much the logic of it. Um, so the food's going to go down with more people. There's no farming stations because you know I can't afford more farming stations. Uh, so they're gonna run out of food. When they're close to running out of food and the population is high again, I'll tax the crap out of them, bring the population down, and essentially at one point there will be no people or no food and then no people on planet 2 in order for me to get max funds out of them. Planet 5 is seven days away from terraformation completion and then I'm gonna terraform, you can only terraform one planet at a time unfortunately you can't buy more than one uh, terraformer it's an interesting animation it's like a, a really hot planet and I think that's a lava flow or a fire I'm not sure which one showing that it's being terraformed let's go see here any more money? Oh yeah, there's some money. Alright, making my way up there. Uh, it's classified. Oh, that means Planet 5's done. Oh, it's another Metropolis planet. I can tell by the color of the square. Yep. Alright, we're terraforming this one. Do they get longer to terraform the further they are from me? No. Because there was one that was like 40 something days. Population levels critical on planet 2. But I lowered the tax on planet 2, so they should be. Yeah, I guess it just. It warns you if population's below a certain number, even though population growth is increasing and food is dropping. Now, on Starbase, whoa, I didn't even see that. See, the population is already at max 32,767. So we're going to tweak the, um, see the food's going down because there's way too many people. Uh, let's steadily increase this. Let's actually put this at 25. Alright, so we have a 25% tax rate. Let's see what happens to population growth. We're going to have to play with this a little bit. So 12%. You know what? Because there's so many people and foods dropping, I'm going to tax them to crap. I'm going to just go ahead and tax the crap out of them. Uh, I'm also going to buy a battle cruiser right now. Or should I buy the fuel mining station first? Well, I bought this first. Uh, how much fuel is on this planet? Eh, not bad. Alright, and now? Ooh, you know what? We'll see. We will see. Alright, so the battlecruiser is now prepared for launch. But. 
I don't have any weapons on it. I'll have to buy them. <laughs> what else are we doing? No, oh, what was I gonna do? There was something. We're not here yet. This is for the battle cruiser. That's also for the battle cruiser. That's to put onto planets. Okay. Um, that's planet six. What is the ETA? Eleven days. That's fine. So to buy. Is it here? Yes. Uh, where's the mining ship? Yeah, 26,000. Okay, 26,000 to get the mining ship, that's fine. How much money do I have? Wow, so because I taxed the crap out of my people, I'm getting tons of credits. This is amazing. So let's buy this. And now we're going to place this... Um, wait, no. I need to prep it for launch. Uh, here's the... Oh. So I need to scrap... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I need to scrap my battle cruiser. So now the fuel went back onto the planet. Oh, the planet finished formatting. Ship is now prepared for launch. So the mining station is ready to go on the surface of planet one. All right, there it is. And if I go here, if I look at the fuel, the fuel is increasing. Perfect. The fuel levels are going up. Planet six is a vegetation planet. Nice. Yep, so planets, so vegetation planets, if you put farms on them, they make food at a higher rate. They don't need as much uh, farming uh, stations. And volcanic planets get fuel easier. Hmm, see if I wanted to, I could put a mining ship on planet 2 and use a cargo ship to bring the fuel, but... Large numbers of enemy forces are converging, looks like war. Like, that's way too much micromanagement with the those ships. Oh, I can buy... I can buy the ship. The problem was that I prepped it. Planet 6. Oh, he wants that one. Hmm... Let me see something. I don't really want to waste the money right now on defenses. No. No, they're going to take this planet. That's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, we're just going to let that happen. Okay, format planet 7. And let's see. 46 days. All right. So right now... I've got how much money in the bank? Whoa, that's a lot of credits. Population growth, so I'm going to bring the taxes down again. We're going to bring the people up some more so we can keep doing this. Uh, planet 2. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking now. If I do similar stuff with with another planet, I could probably get the same amount of money coming in. So like, I guess planet 3 is like a balanced planet. Yeah. It's balanced all around. Okay. Mm, I kind of wanted to do it with planet 16. You know what? It will it will be planet 16. Because planet 16 is uh, the halfway point in our, I don't know what this is, galaxy or solar system. So... Yeah, because a ship can't jump, like an attack ship, a battleship from my planet, 
can't jump directly to planet 32 in one shot. I need to stop somewhere. Uh, population level is critical on planet 3, that's fine. Format report, 32 days. So I need to make a pit stop and refuel. And I always choose planet 16 because it's halfway to planet 32. So I'm going to format planet 16 next. And once that's done, I'm going to place um, stuff, defenses, you know, guns, turrets, everything on planet 16. Uh, 27,000 people. Okay, so uh, we need guns on. No, that's not it. It's this one, right? Yes. So the ship is docked here. No, wait. No, I sold the ship. Right, I sold it. I need to buy it back. It's bought here. Alright, battle cruiser, buy, buy the ship, are you sure? Blah 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 blah, confirm. So, because I've bought one before, yeah, it's called 2A instead of, you know, 1A. More fuel is required, so... Uh, here. Exactly how much fuel does it need? I have 1600, and it's, you know, slowly climbing. Mm, it makes me wonder if I should hold off on purchasing the weapons for the ship and perhaps buy a second mining station. Yeah, I'll probably buy another mining station. Okay, got the mining station. Let's prep. Let's see if we can prep it. Oops. Ah. Down. Okay, more fuel still. So I think I'll wait to have it's probably 2000. They probably picked like a round number of a of fuel for it to be like the prepped amount. Oh, that's classified. This one's formatting 10 days. Resources, planet one. What do we got? 2000. So let's go here. Prep. No. Really? How much fuel does it need? Darn. Could have done something by now. Oh, okay, so population's at max. I'm gonna jack up the tax to 100%. Uh, people here is at zero, but there's, you know, people growing. Uh, population. So people here is almost gone. I'm going to drop that to zero. Same thing here. Yeah. But they're going to run out of food eventually. There's no farming stations on those planets. Um, I can't even launch like prep a ship for launch. Oh, format's done. What kind of planet is 7? It's a volcanic planet. That's not bad. Planet 16. Format it. So, I skipped over a bunch of planets. Totally okay with this. I'm formatting planet 16. Once it's done, I'm going to keep formatting upwards because uh, the computer tends to attack um, your planets cl that are the closest to their home planet. So if I... wait, let's find out. Uh, 52 days to format planet 32. I mean 16. Damn. Also I saw a warning that electricity energy levels were low somewhere. Ah, uh, there's not really anything I can do right now. Okay, I got tons of money. How much fuel? 2600 fuel. Can I prep this mining ship? Oh my god, it worked. So it's 2600. Uh, let's place this on the surface. That one on the surface. Alright, so now we should be getting a good amount of steady fuel production on our planet one. So it looks like technological breakthrough. What's going on? 
Avionic engineers have built a hyperdrive system for your ships, decreasing their overall fuel consumption and travel time. Oh my gosh, you guys. Fuel levels critical on Starbase? Of course they are. I just used all the fuel on a mining ship, but the mining ship is going to make more fuel. So it's a win-win. Everyone wins. So now let's buy this and put it on illegal request, not your planet access denied. Right, planet one, buy it. All right, let's put this on planet one. Let's put this on planet one. And one of these. I don't remember how these work, you know, the controls. You have broken the arms treaty. The Federal Alliance condemned your actions on this matter. You are now on your own. I really don't know what that means because if you don't defend yourself, you're gonna get killed. I think it's just more of like a dramatic effect thing the programmers put into the game. I don't know. Maybe maybe it does do something. Maybe the the computer can't actually take out your starbase. If, unless you've broken that treaty and purchased uh, things, defenses on, and put them on your on your planets, so my star base is defended right now. It's got uh, those three stations that I can't remember how to use. <laughs> I think you press select to cycle between them, and you press A to use them. I think that's how it is. So let's go see. Oh, what's going on? War update, large numbers. You know what? They're probably going to take out planet 6 or 7. They're going to take planet 7, probably. Planet 5? Oh, they want this. Oh, they can have that. They want. Maybe, maybe that's a better planet to have. Perhaps. I don't know. Whatever Planet 16 is, I'm going to arm it up to the teeth. Um, yeah. It's because it's like, it's going to be my outpost, right? So, and I'm going to put like resource gathering um, ships on it too. Stations. War update. They've taken Planet 5 because, you know, computer. Planet 16. Oh, they've created yet another planet. So not only do they attack your planets to take them over, they also f terraform them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check the. F Actually, if I go here and press this, it selects planet 1 instantly. Nice. Pop people. So I'm going to bring this back down. Yep. That's planet 2. Ah, uh, 12,000 people. Sure. And how much food is here? <laughs> not much food on planet 3. And not much food here. You know what? I'm just going to tax the crap out of planet 7 right now. And what about planet 3? Mm, they don't have enough people to food ratio. Yeah, Planet 2 should be taxed like crap right now, actually. They're running out of food completely. Yeah, so these planets are almost completely depleted of life. Uh, food to people, population growth is increasing. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. This planet has no food left. I'm just taxing them to death. How much money on the star base? All right, people are going up. Tons of fuel, so I can f prep this format report. It's all mine. We. All right, let's get to planet 16. Yeah, it's an amazing vegetation planet. Okay. So planet 16. Uh, we're gonna leave, we're gonna put this a little higher, and we're gonna buy defenses for Planet 16. Per 
purchase one of these. Purchase one of those. And finally, one of these bad boys. These ones were actually my favorite as a kid, because I was obsessed with like the color blue and electricity, because it was blue. We're formatting 17, hopefully it gets formatted 41 days. I don't know if that's going to be before the next attack. Okay, um, you know what I could do? Where's my ship? Oh wait, what? Oh, I'm on planet 17, so select the first one. System report, ship is now prepared for launch. So now, I buy, do I need to go to planet 1? Probably, buy. Yep, keep buying it. Equipment transferred to battle cruiser. I can't remember how many of these I can put on the ship. Was it five or six? So that's the third one. I don't have enough credits. I'm I'm broke. Population levels critical on planet three. Okay, so I can. In Ooh. Computer warning. Methane leak from storage tanks on planet sixteen. All civilians have been killed. Uh oh. So Planet 16 has no population. That's brutal. So we're gonna bring the taxes down to zero. <laughs> so we're going to buy farming stations. Uh, do I have enough money for the farming stations? Wow, okay. So the docks on planet one, prep the ship. Ship is not prepared for launch. Ship is not prepared for launch. I also need to buy uh, energy thingies, generator stuffs, this. Satellites. Okay, so they're going into orbit around Starbase by default, right? So now I go here, and no, I send them to planet 16. Yeah, craft and transit, craft and transit, and these uh, satellites also. Perfect. So those four ships are on their way to planet 16. Morning. If any of your ships enter into my zones, they will be destroyed. Oh my gosh. I so need to shut his trap. Uh, so now to transfer people over to Planet 16. So if I scrap the ships, people get placed on Planet 16 because, you know, the ship is scrapped and the people just get dumped into the reserves. But I can buy a cargo cruiser and put any of the resources. Your craft have now arrived at planet 16. Awesome. Yeah, so every time one of the crafts get there, I'll get a little text. This is like before text messaging was a thing. It just texts you right at the bottom of the screen. It's the first text messenger. Uh, I'm gonna buy one of these cargo cruisers. Do I have enough money? I don't know. Oh, I do. So let's go to here. Choose planet one first. Cargo cruiser. So prepare ship. Needs more fuel, which is fine. So it's almost got you know enough fuel. Uh, so I'm gonna reduce this again. People have dropped below twenty percent. I mean twenty thousand. Uh, yeah. So fuel, I think it needs to get to like 25 or 2600 before a ship is fine. Format report, it's done! What's planet 16? I mean 17. Uh, 16, 17, oh nice! It's a fuel, fuel planet. Oh, they've created another one. Interesting, okay. Uh, format the next one. Hold on, I want to know how long it'll take. 33 days. 
So let's go to Planet 17, tax them. Let's come down to Planet 7. Yeah, there's going to be like no people left. That's fine. Um, planet 1. How's it doing? Okay, so people are growing. Okay, so the fuel is 2600. Let's prep the cargo ship. More fuel is still required on the cargo ship? What? Okay, back to here. So the cargo ship, how much fuel could it possibly need? Like, really? Unbelievable. Um, it's possibly like 3,000? That's my guess. Let's find out. So, it's gonna get to 3,000 any second now. There it is. Oh man. Still not enough fuel, huh? Damn. That cargo ship, though, probably needs like a whole gallon of fuel. Oh, Planet 16! Planet 16! That's me! Oh man. Alright, I have defenses there. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna screw this up. Okay, this one's select. And this is A and this is B. Let's see what happens. Any second now. Here we go. Is this select? Yes. And press this. What? Is it B? What do I do? Oh. I can move this. Uh oh. Hold on. <gasps> that pauses the game. No, how do you fire? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's B. B shoots this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm barely gonna win this, aren't I? No, I barely won. I totally forgot what the controls were. Okay, so A shoots that wave of stuff. B is the electricity. And I think select, no wait, select was changing. A was shooting the gun that I control with the arrows and the target thing. Okay, so now what I need to do is go to planet 16 here. I hadn't done that in a long time. Uh, buy one of these. Oh, it's already there. Do you wish to re-energize? Yes. Base has now been re-energized. Buy one of these. Man, buying military hardware is very pricey. Not enough credits for one of these guys? Oh my gosh. Uh, planet 1, go to money. Yeah, I need 15,000, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna tax the crap out of a max... There we go. A max populated planet. Now buy this again. Okay. Military base has now been installed. Mm -hmm. What did I want to buy? There was something else. Oh. Here, this. Mm. Transfer to battle cruiser. Okay. Not enough credits. Fair enough. Is something formatting? I feel like it should be. So this is formatting. Technological breakthrough. Chemists have found a new form of fertility drug. Initial tests which with this drug yield a massive increase in the population growth. Well, planet 18 is done. No, 19. So 18, I'm just going to like tax them. 17, they're taxed. Okay, these guys got nothing. Um, hold on, let's look at the fuel at planet 1. Fuel is at 4700, okay? Alright, so it fueled it. 4700, 47, so 30, 34, it was like 3500 maybe? For, um, for a cargo ship. So did I increase tax? Oh, I am taxing them. Wow! So, with that fertility drug, the population growth increases, plus you can tax like crazy, and it doesn't really drop that much, which is great. Um, knowing how this... Okay. 
Can I buy more of these then? Okay, so the weaponry level is at maximum. I can't buy any more of these. But I could buy these. Yes, I shall buy all of this. Purchase, yes. How many can I buy? So this is already three. Just 15 rockets of this type. Looks like 20 so far. Looks like 25. Can I buy more? Purchase this, are you sure? Yeah, let's keep, just keep buying it. So it looks like 30 of these rockets. Weapon type level at maximum. So I bought them all. All right, so these guys are 6,000 for three. I guess they're more potent, do more damage. Oh, it seems that I've got tons of money to spend. Equipment transfer, blah, 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 blah. More? Wonder how many more I can carry. Weapon type at maximum. So, my battle cruiser is at maximum everything. Uh, planet 16. Format completes all mine. 19, right? Yes. So, 20. Format this. Let's check. 23 days. That's pretty fast. Uh, let's check. Let's put this up to 100% tax. Move the money over to planet 1. Okay, so planet 1 population is... St Whoa! Whoa, the food! The food is almost gone! Okay, wait, wait, wait. The, the percentage of tax was at max already. That's insane, so the food can't keep up. That's fine. Um, what I'm going to do now... What was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, I need to go over to here, the docking station. This is prepped for launch. Here's people. So I just moved some people onto the, the cargo ship. And then I go here, choose the cargo ship, send them to planet 16, and then I'm going to unload people from the cargo ship onto planet 16. Um, so that then there's a population there doing their thing. Now let's go check planet 16 out. Okay, so food's generating and so is electricity which is great. There's no fuel being generated there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy some mining ships. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, mining stations. Just a couple. And send them to Planet 16 to get fuel since it's our outpost. Okay, now let's go here. Your craft has now arrived at Planet 16. That's pretty quick. Prepared for launch. Pre what? Fuel. Damn, always with the fuel. Uh, got a great idea. I'm going to move this ship onto the surface of Planet 1 temporarily. And it's going to get fuel generated faster. Okay. In the meantime... I'm moving my starship cruiser, where is it? Here, my battle cruiser, to planet 16. And then I'm going to hop from planet 16 to planet 32 and attack the, uh, the enemy planet and hopefully win. That would be amazing. Alright, so battle cruiser is on the way. Uh, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for gasoline basically. I'm waiting for gasoline to generate on planet 1. System report, they've created another planet. That's fine. How's my terraforming coming along? Oh, I totally missed the alert. Okay, let's jack this up. Great. How long until this planet's done? Format report, 26 days. Excellent. Your craft has now arrived at planet 16. That's my battle cruiser. Alright. 
Uh, 16, docking station. So here's the cargo ship. Here's the people. So now there's people on the planet. Population levels critical on planet 16. No, no joke. Population growth is actually at 30%. What? There was a storm that swept across the Epsilon galaxy. The storm has reduced my energy supplies in half. Looks like war. Hmm. So now I'm going to send my ship to planet 32. Actually, more update. On planet 18? Yeah, that's fine. What is planet 18? Oh, it's a food planet. That's why I was attacking it before. Okay. Uh, so food's going up, people are going up too, because they don't pay taxes. How's the fuel on planet 1? It should be enough to... whoops. Alright, I'm gonna lose planet 18. That's fine. I like how it's just a little colony. There's a whole planet and all I really have is a colony. One little colony. Alright, so that ship's ready. Uh, which one is it? It's these two, right? So 16. So this one's going to 16. And this one's going to 16. Perfect. Uh, once they get there, they'll be generating fuel, which is great. Now, the starship, the battle cruiser, I mean, it's going to planet 32. There we go. It's en route to planet 32. Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking at planet 16. So by the t when the time comes that the the farming stations reach planet 16, it should only be a few seconds before the battle cruiser reaches planet 32. Um, yeah. So your craft has now arrived at planet 16. So they're landing. There's a third ship on the surface blinking. There's the fourth one. And now my ship should be at planet 32 soon. Format report completes all mine. Waiting for it to tell me. It's a desert planet. Military update. Battle cruiser now in high orbit above planet 32. So select planet 32. And I think it's this one. Alright, oh man, they are like stuck to the teeth. No, oh, he's trying to shoot my ship. That's not my battle cruiser. Those are the those are the tanks. Hmm, that I bought. Hold on, I need to like Oh man, they totally wiped those out. Hold on. <gasps> oh jeez. Oh I took that one out! Okay, let's do this really carefully now. Ooh. Oh, that really hurt it. Oh, it's gone! Hold on then. Is there no way to stop this from moving? There is. <laughs> I won. And that's the end of the game. Celebration time. War update. Your forces have taken planet 32. All systems now on full alert. Congratulations! You have overthrown the enemy. Celebrations begin announcing you as a galactic hero. Oh man, looks so good. It's my star base right near the lake. Fireworks show. So good. Wait, there's fireworks happening in, like, the water, but they weren't in the sky. That was fun. I haven't played this game in so long. I think the last time I played this was, like, wow, maybe over ten years ago. Wow, it's making me feel old. 
Well, that's it for Overlord, guys. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!